According to a recent national poll from the University of Michigan, one in five parents admit their stress level ruins the holidays for their children. It's not just parents. Family stress is at an all-time high. I'm joined now by ABC7 medical contributor Dr. Neha Sharma. Dr. Sharma, as always, a pleasure to have you on. What's contributing to all this stress? I think it's especially high this year because we entered into this winter feeling more optimistic. And here we are, dealing with another variant and another surge. We all wanted to make up for last year, but the new variant is adding another layer of stress yet again. Traveling is tricky. The rules about gathering keep changing. Rules about quarantining keep changing. Rapid tests are in higher demand than gifts. Kids under five are still not vaccinated. And on top of that, um, there's a vaccine divide among relatives and close friends that's also adding to the stress. So the pandemic pressures are definitely contributing to mental health struggles. So what are some of the signs that we should look out for? If you notice yourself or your loved one feeling more down, irritable, tearful, exhausted, or having difficulties with sleep or appetite, then it's time to ask for help. And if you have already been diagnosed with depression or anxiety disorder in the past, maybe it's time to check in with your treating clinician to see if your treatment needs to be adjusted. How about some tips to lower that stress, Dr. Sharma? Probably start with accepting the fact that COVID is still here. Um, so don't forget those pandemic precautions and get vaccinated and test frequently. But I also want to emphasize that we have come a long way since the beginning of the pandemic. We now have a better handle on this virus. We have a vaccine and we have some therapeutic drugs out there. So do celebrate if you are vaccinated, um, but do it safely. And in addition to that, um, focus on your fitness, nutrition, sleep, be realistic, plan ahead, lower your expectations, have an open mind, take frequent breaks, learn to say no, and do not hesitate to seek help and support. And I think um, I do have to admit that I need to follow all of this before anybody else. I definitely need to learn to say no myself. Dr. Neha Sharma, ABC7 medical contributor and medical director for the hospitals of Providence Northeast and Horizon City. As always, thanks for your time. Thank you.